All right, so let's talk about what's what's going on right now, because this is, uh, first of all, I want to start by saying good for you, because uh, I'm on your side, and I think people should always speak up when they see something happening. I think being quiet when there's something that needs to be addressed is, is the wrong move. So uh, you were in this movie, The Predator, mm -hmm. and you found out that the director hired his friend to play a guy that was hitting on you, mm -hmm. who actually turned out to be a, a registered sex offender with, right. for a 14-year-old girl. Yeah. And so you spoke out about it, and now people are not supporting you. Well, I was, the, the public, um, social media, um, fans, uh, strangers on the street, uh, um, all of the news outlets um, have been extremely supportive, and that's such a, a gift because um, it's not an easy situation to be in. Uh, I, when I, I did find out, and he was a 38-year-old man at the time, it happened about 10 years ago. He's 38 years old and went after a 14-year-old female relative. And, um, and when I found that out, I did call um, Fox and I, I said, we have to delete the scene. And, um, and they did, thankfully. And then I did reach out to my co-stars and um, individually and said, hey, I want you guys to know, like, I found this out. Um, and I found it out through an acquaintance who, um, wanted to know if I knew, and I, I didn't, I didn't know them well enough to know if, like, they would say something or not, but I figured in that moment, it wasn't, they weren't calling me just to, you know, just to kind of give me the heads up. It, it, it was going to be something that would, would get out there. So I wanted to give my co-stars the heads up so that they wouldn't be blindsided like I was. And, um, and then when it did come out, um, well, first of all, when I did call my co-stars, um, I got chastised the next day by um, people at the studio for, for telling them and why am I not just, you know, um, you know, just keeping it quiet. It's all going to be okay. It's going to get, it got deleted. What's the big deal? And I said, well, I mean, it happened. And, and, um, and I just, you know, when you have, when we do movies, we have this reach, you know, it goes everywhere. You know, there's people all over the world that see what we do. And just a, that, that tiny drop of fame can be used to hurt an impressionable person. And that's just not okay. And when I spoke out, um, and, gave a statement to the LA Times, which they had asked for, but they had asked the rest of my cast. I was the only one that did give a, a statement. Um, I had no idea how bad the details of the case were and what happened to that girl until it came out in the LA Times on Thursday. It, the story should... It, the, the reality is that the, the people who collude to keep people like this in positions of power, um, that's the real problem. The people who keep turning blind eyes. The next thing that has been hard that you brought up is the, the support. Um, you know, and that's become this other story because my cast members, nobody said anything to me about it. Um, nobody talked to me, nobody reached out um, and that whole day. And then at first I thought maybe it's because they, they just don't know what to say, they wanna stay out of the way, but privately I, I did feel iced out. And I think that's what's really important for people to understand is you know, when you see something, you have to say something. However, it's not going to be easy. And there will be people that just get mad at you for not um, playing the game. Yeah. Um, especially when it's your, I think that people expected me to be quiet because it was my movie, but I, I, the truth is I don't care. Like, I don't care if this movie gave me all the money in the world and all the power. Like, if it costs, if it costs one person's life, like, they can take it. I don't want this career. Yep. I'm so proud of you. I'm, you did the right thing. Sterling did um, eventually um, tweet out support and, and was very, um, you know, forthcoming about Good. how he felt. So that, that's important. Good, I like so, Sterling. That's yeah, great to hear. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I know, I know when things happen, uh, moms can be very, very mm -hmm. protective. How's your mom handling this? My mom has been really sweet. She, she called me and said, you know, I've, I've been thinking, mom don't know how much you have, but I think you have enough money to buy a house in Costa Rica. So this is what mom thinks. Okay, who need Hollywood? Who care about Hollywood? You, me, we go to Costa Rica, make a smoothie bar on beach. And then, this is the best part, she goes, then we went book boards. I'm like, book boards? She goes, yeah, book board. I'm like, what's book? You know, in water, wee, people go in water, but on the book board. I said, okay, she goes, now, we rent book board, $25 per day. No one use whole day. They bring back after two hours. We get to re-rent. We make so much money. I was like, uh, um, but she's been really supportive. And, it, and honestly, it feels good when you have a family that doesn't really care if you're, you know, um, doing movies or you know, you know, renting book boards on, yeah, right. <laughs> on the beach in Costa Rica. 
but that's actually been um, that is that, that is really the best good. kind of family. Yeah. Well, anyway, I am really really happy for you. I'm happy to see you, and I just found out about all this today. So I'm sorry if I didn't reach out sooner because all I right. didn't know about it. But um, I know you, when you um, go on vacation, you you, you really sh yeah. I unplug. I unplug. It's I the really, best thing to do. I yeah. wish I could unplug. Yeah. Right I now. was in, in in Costa Rica doing a book board. What? Uh, no. <laughs> If you just wait, uh, I'm gonna have a smoothie shop there okay. and you can rent from me. <laughs> I'll go back. Uh, uh, the movie is called The Predator. It opens everywhere Friday. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!